everyone welcome back to my channel my name is van i'm your local nomad and on this channel we get into tarot intuition metaphysics all of that kind of stuff and even more so if you guys like the vibe go ahead and click subscribe and hit that bell for my new videos today we are having a pick a card reading what is coming up for you in this new month of july what do we have in store guys so the three piles today are going to be pile number one this orange calcite now this is a raw orange calcite got this at my local metaphysical shop and group number two pink opal same thing local metaphysical shop and group number three is this beautiful yellow calcite i got this at a gem and mineral show so let's go ahead and take a minute to ring the solar plexus bowl see what resonates with you guys and we will get go ahead and get straight into it Again, if you guys have not yet picked your pile, no worries, just pause right here and go ahead and take a few minutes to meditate into it, what crystal resonates with you the most, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Group number one, orange calcite. I love this stone. I will take it to work with me because it's just such a motivating energy. I love it so much. So yes, today we are going to be using the Fairy Tarot deck and the Rose Oracle to see a little bit about what is in store for you this July. So we have, first of all, Ego. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. We have the Prince of Autumn, dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous, cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. And then we have the Princess of Autumn, studious, responsible, cheerful, mischievous, Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, well thought out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. All right guys, so I'm seeing that you guys this month of July are stepping from an energy of feeling really caught up in fear and your ego, as we see here, and stepping more into a place of trust within your material world. You are really um, becoming more dependable and more um a little bit more stable when it comes to material things or your financial world or your career so as far as the autumn um in the fairy deck this is the coins so it's definitely um or the pentacles so it's definitely we're talking about material stuff it's a very slow energy so you guys are really um kind of slowly moving into this energy. It is going to take a little bit of time, but I'm seeing that that's where the focus is for you this July, according to the fairy deck. But let's take a moment and get into the Rose Oracle. Rose Oracle, I don't know why I said that so silly. But yes, what, how is group one's July looking? Let's get into it. I'm being called to read the Rose Oracle attunement before we get into this. And this is just a little card that comes with the deck and it helps us kind of just attune to the deck and uh, get the vibe, set our intentions. So I'm gonna read this for everyone. Mother Rose, you who were present long before we and you who will continue after we're gone, bless this oracle and all who use it. May it be a gateway for all to return to ourselves, the earth and each other. May our connection with the voice of our soul be made stronger with every use. 
May all who touch it feel cherished, held, soft, softened, loved, and seen. May it deliver insight, understanding, compassion, and guidance that's in the highest interest of all beings, past, present, and future. When I am holding space for another, help me to step out of the way and invite others to connect with the wisdom that exists deep within them. Guide me and all who use this to embrace the ever-changing true nature of the seasons and of our lives with compassion, understanding, and grace. Show us how we can plant ourselves here more deeply than ever before. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now that we have attuned ourselves to the Rose Oracle, let's shuffle again one more time. So we have in reverse, come to me, which says attracting like a rose, receive abundance, desires. And then we also have in reverse, whispers of mother earth, creativity, ideas, inspirations, artist, writer, channel. So I'm seeing that you guys this month may be dealing with some creative blocks, um, some uh, blocks when it comes to um, creating your abundance and this kind of has to do with the first pile because you are slowly moving from a place of feeling tense about your physical world to a place of relaxation and creation so I'm seeing that this is kind of where you guys are coming from let's get a look at the back of the deck energy I'm just gonna read it upright because I don't really like reversals just <laughs> that's my personal preference but this says grandmothers remembering your roots perspective trust the weavings this is actually really really interesting that I got this deck because or this card because for me personally I really resonate with um group number one um so uh, a little bit of special information for you guys I actually just moved in with my grandpa and I um my grandma pass passed away she passed away when I was maybe I think 13 years old and I've really been like reconnecting with her energy this past year because I was so young when she passed away I didn't really fully register it so I am actually filming right now in the room that she um, kind of hung out in when I uh, last saw her and um, so yeah just a little bit of special uh, special personality <laughs> my personal story according to this card but um yeah so definitely we're being reminded here to take a step back and really remember where you're coming from you have grown so far the fact that you are kind of coming from this place of ego and slowly transforming into someone who can trust. I'm feeling that for you guys, this is something that is monumental. You guys have always been in a, or traditionally you guys have been in an energy where you are scared. You feel like you can't trust your physical world. You guys maybe deal with a lot of anxiety. So you are being called to connect with your ancestors and they will really help you um, get to this point where you feel like you can trust in the universe and your abundance in what is being brought in for you and your creative abilities so it's really up to you guys you have the choice if you want to lean into this energy this month but I'm seeing that if you do working with the grandmother energy or the energy of your ancestors will really be able to help you lean into this energy of creation and physical wealth material Material abundance, uh, overall abundance, all of that beautiful stuff. So yes, group one, that was your reading. I really hope you enjoyed. I, uh, if you did, go ahead and leave a like, and I would really appreciate it. Loved having your energy with me today. Loved being able to read for you. I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Group two, for those of you who chose this nice pink opal, this very smooth, very nice um, pink opal that has to do with self-care, self-love, self-acceptance, self-compassion, all of that wonderful energy. I'm gonna go ahead and place your stone right here and we're gonna get started with the fairy tarot deck. 
what does group number one, what does, I'm sorry, what does group number two's July look like? Can we get some information here on what July is going to look like for pile number two? So we're gonna read these cards really quickly. The Ace of Spring is the Ace of Wands. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. The King of Winter, which is the King of Wands. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone for professional and objective. Public speaking, unemotional relationships and the King of Spring, which is the King of Wands. Innovative, inspiring, wise, theatrical. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. So I'm seeing that you guys are starting new projects and you are maybe fr coming from a space of um, the full, more the full energy, even though we don't really see this here. Let me see what the back of the thing is. The Two of Winter, so this is the Two of Swords. Indecision is holding you back. Make a choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Yeah, so that's actually um, the intellectual and emotional. So emotional is more linked towards the spring or the wand um, cards. And whereas the intellectual is all about that um, winter or swords energy, we are kind of being divided here from our creativity by maybe a mental block. Um, this was kind of similar to uh, group number one, but also very different. So um, yeah, I'm seeing very fast energy for you guys, but also um, being told to remind you guys to... Um, Take action, yes, go for what you are imagining. Just also be careful that you're, um, you're not spinning yourself in mental block circles or you're not thinking too hard about your action. And it's hard because yes, you want to do your research and you want to be coming from a knowledgeable place, but you also don't wanna to do too much research to the point where you are getting to not taking action and not doing what you love because you are either too scared or feel like you don't have enough information. So it's really all about balancing this, these two king energies because these two kings are pretty different. Um, they're both very fast energy again, like I said, but this one is very um, non-emotional, very intellectual, and that this one is very creative, pretty emotional, and um, I put them together, and if you balance the energies right, you can create something very amazing here. So you guys' this potential is very strong. I'm just being told to say that maybe with the two of winter on the back of the deck, you guys are having trouble balancing this energy. So you may be finding some of that to be true for you guys this July, but let's go ahead and get into the Rose Oracle deck. I'm gonna start with the attunement card. <clears throat> Mother Rose, you who were present long before we, and you who will continue after we're gone, bless this oracle and all who use it. May it be a gateway for all who return to ourselves, the earth, and each other. May our connection with the voice of our soul be made stronger with every use. May all who touch it feel cherished, held, loved, softened, and seen. May it deliver insight in understanding, compassion, and guidance, and that's in the highest interest of all beings, past, present, and future. When I'm holding space for another, help me to step out of the way and invite others to connect with the wisdom that exists deep within them. Guide me and all who use it to embrace our ever-changing true nature and all the seasons of our lives with compassion, understanding, and grace. Show us how we can plant ourselves here more deeply than ever before. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now that we are attuned to the Rose Oracle deck, let's go ahead and draw some cards, see how group two is doing this July. Spirit, please let us know in a few cards or so. How is group two doing this July? What is in store for them this July? So we have Sophia, Divine Plan, Wisdom, Intelligence Within, Destiny, and Sacred Union, Beloved Within, Inner and Outer Relationships. So you guys this month, or this, uh, not semester, this month, may be um, meeting some new people to work with. You guys may be in divine timing, lining up with divine partners to help you within your creative projects or this may be a new um, loved one coming into the picture, a new soulmate character. And um, I'm seeing with We Are Nature on the back, becoming grounded, embodiment, living in connection. Um, we're being reminded to spend some time outside in nature because with all of this creative and mental energy, you need to have it be grounded or else it's really just gonna be a big mess. Um, and yeah, so this kind of goes along with your tarot in that whatever you are creating this month, it is sacred, it is divine. Whatever you are, uh, if you're stepping more into a fertile energy, that is sacred and divine. You're being reminded that whatever you are doing this month is sacred and it is divine. You are working with divine timing. You are in the right vibe. You are in the right divine timing. It may seem like there's a little bit of mental stress, but don't worry, you are a-okay. You're gonna be just fine, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this reading, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Group number three, the yellow calcite. I love this crystal so much. She is such a beauty. I love the vibes. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it with the fairy tarot deck. What is group number three's July going to look like? All right, so we have the Emperor, the Moon, and the Ace of Autumn. The Emperor, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. The Moon, powerful, intuitive, epiphanies, epiphanies, oh my goodness, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation, and the ace of autumn, a windfall of money, a windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. Awesome, guys. So you guys have two major arcana. You have the four and eight, so that, um, kind of uh, four or eight energy. We have, uh, this adds up to nine, so uh, divinity, and then the number four, which talks about um, self-care, but also partnerships and divine partnerships. So we have this um, very divine energy and intuitive energy we have here with the moon, leadership energy with the emperor, and luck with the ace of autumn. You guys may be getting a new job, you guys may be starting a new individual project. I'm seeing here that whatever you're doing, you are probably going to be the leader of your new position. You may be starting a new job where you are maybe in a new um, you got a promotion or you are in a space where you feel in control of your space but you also feel intuitively connected and this may not be a job this may be you know a friendship any type of situation really um, but I, with the ace of autumn it is um, emphasizing that this may have more to do with your financial situation, your career, your material world, and all that kind of stuff. 
So yes, let's see. That is what the um, fairy tarot deck has to say for you guys for the month of July. Let's go ahead and see what the Rose Oracle says. We're going to start off by reading the Rose Oracle Attunement card. Take a deep breath. Mother Rose, you who were present long before we, and you who will continue after we are gone, bless this oracle and all who use it. May it be a gateway for all to return to ourselves, the earth, and each other. May our connection with the voice of our soul be made stronger with every use. May all who touch it feel cherished, held, loved, softened, and seen. May it deliver insight, understanding, compassion, and guidance that's in the highest interest of all beings, past, present, and future. When I'm holding space for another, help me to step out of the way and invite others to connect with the wisdom that exists deep within them. Guide me and all who use this to embrace our ever-changing true nature and the seasons of our lives with compassion, understanding, and grace. Show us how we can plant ourselves here more deeply than ever before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, so now that we are attuned to the Rose Oracle deck, let's go ahead and draw a few cards, please, on how group number three's July is going to go. All right, so we actually got this one in group number two. Um, or was it group number one? I can't remember. I think it may have been group number one, actually. But we have trust the seasons, embracing change, cycles of life, transition and growth, and the grandmothers, remembering your roots, perspective, trust the weavings. So a little bit of my... So a little bit of my personal life, I just want to tell this story because I think it's pretty interesting that we've gotten this card twice now. Um, so my grandmother passed away in 2012, I believe. Um, I was very young at the time, so I don't remember a whole lot about it. I don't remember her the best, but I actually just moved in with my grandpa and I am staying in the room that she kind of hung out with the last few times that I saw her. So I'm, I've been really connecting with her energy this year, really re-delving into where my roots come from, all that kind of stuff. And yes, so you guys are being encouraged to fall into a position of trust, trusting the cycles of life, trusting that you are in the right place at the right time. You guys may be going through change and in order to help with this change, to help it go smoothly, you are being called to work with your ancestors, work with that gran uh, divine grandmother energy. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this uh, resonated with you. If you guys liked this reading, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.